Greetings to all of you out there. Welcome to today's presentation. Again, this is our second video to talk about the HS13 from AJAM Sonic. If you missed the first video, check out the uh, link on the description below. This is a very unique USB controller and it's available right now on our website at www.ajamsonic.com. And if you missed the first video again, like I said before, check out the link on the bottom. But we want to talk about some more features that are coming up very, very shortly in the next software release for this amazing, amazing MIDI or USB controller. First and foremost, when you power this on, the initial function of this encoder is going to be for rotor. So for an example, if you want to play organ sounds and you want to be able to add or speed up or slow down the speed of the Leslie, all you have to do is turn that encoder. But if you press the start button or any of the buttons here, it tells the machine you want to now go into arranger mode. In other words, you want to play with the style. This encoder now quickly becomes a tempo button for you to control the tempo of the style. So as you can see right here, if I, because I just hit the start stop, now on the screen over here, you can see it says tempo. And if I turn this, you can notice on the screen of the EVM, the tempo value is changing. But if I am already performing and I still want to go back into that rotor mode, we've included in the new software a functionality where simply by tapping on this encoder, you can now toggle between the rotor functionality for the organ, slow and fast as displayed on the screen, or the tempo for using styles or MIDI files. So this is a very nice feature that we just added in there. Again, let me change the camera angle so you can see what I'm talking about right there, right? So by simply pressing on this, you will notice that you see the display is now in tempo mode. So if I hit start, I can speed it up, slow it down. This is one of the nice styles in Arranger G, which is a riff. Go back. Arranger A, Arranger B, Arranger C, fill. And again, while performing, I can always press that encoder down to change and switch between rotor and tempo. There's a very nice feature. And again, this is nice because it allows you, the user, to be able to quickly access the functions that you're looking for within the nice little pad over here. And we have more functionality coming up as well. We're gonna give you the possibility in the future update to be able to even choose different setups you want or different sets you wanna use for these 12 push buttons or 13 if you want to include the encoder as well. So again, this is AJ at Keytron wishing you all a great evening, great morning, great afternoon, wherever you are. And I shall catch you all in the next video. Take care now.